Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Riverview Farm with me, C. Waddy. The fertilising contracts and spraying contracts have been completed. I've now bought myself some equipment, ladies and gents, and I'm doing uh, some cool vein contracts now. Testing out my new equipment. I've raided the, uh, the second hand um, job market, uh, vehicle market. I raided that and got myself two Deutsch Fahr tractors and I've got myself a, uh, a shallow cultivator here, John Deere cultivator. So I'm doing a few cultivating contracts and it's all going very well. Um, it's a nice little cultivator, not pulling up stones, which is fantastic for future you. Um, especially when it comes to doing our own farm somewhere down the road and I've got two tractors I've got a Series 8 Warrior and I've got a Series 7 as well so I've got two pretty decent tractors that I've never used well not used yet I don't think in um, Barb 2 22 so, yeah, it looks really a bit different from the usual cases or John Deere's or classes that I've been using up till now. Which part? This one, the Series 8 seems to have no issue pulling this cultivator. Which is good, because the cultivator was rated at about 360 horsepower. And I was thinking, well, maybe this tractor might not have enough. But it's doing okay. It's ripping along quite nicely, actually. I mean, maybe that's because we're shallow cultivating, we're not deep cultivating. So maybe there's a little bit less resistance there on the machine, because we're not having to pull through quite so much dirt. Yeah, I've got two, um, two contracts currently on the go. Uh, for cultivating, I figured I'd do those next. So I've got field 44, which I'm currently doing, and then I've got field 42, which is a big contract. Those two contracts alone pay us about 100 grand. So with what I've already made today on the uh, fertilising and herbicide, it was a good time to reinvest some of that money into equipment. Like I say, now I've got my own tractors. That's a good start. I was also looking at the, um, there's a sprayer in the second hand market as well. I'm thinking I might be tempted to buy that just in case I want to do any more fertilizing gigs. Or spraying gigs. It's not self-propelled, unfortunately. That's the, the downside. It's not a uh, Rubicon or anything. It's um, it's one that actually goes on the back of a tractor. Huh? Yeah, the Cavernland Exciter. This one here. We could get one of those, maybe. That could be useful. Strap it on the back of the Series 7 Deutschmark. Uh, Deutschfahr. Deutschmark. <laughs> Deutschmarks haven't been a thing since the Euro was invented. Why do I keep saying Deutschmark when I'm describing these tractors? Because somebody will say, because they're money. They're money. They're good tractors. Healthy rip with the cultivator. I 
Hey, it's nice to do different jobs. And the great thing about this contract in life is that I don't know what job I'm going to do until I check the contract screen. I literally just pick whichever job is going to pay me the most amount of money. Not that I'm a greedy individual or anything. It's just that, you know, time is valuable. So I might as well earn a good, decent bit of money doing what I do. There's a whole load of bailing contracts. <laughs> but I was like, mm, I'm not really going to be buying a mower and a baler and a tedder and a windrower and a Bail collector. And all that stuff. Just yet. So we'll probably still end up leasing like equipment to do the bailing contract. But certainly now for some of these other contracts, the ploughing and the cultivating uh, and the sowing, nice that we've got tractors. There was a there was a, a sewing contract, um, which was paying over a hundred grand. Um, I thought, well, that wouldn't be too bad because obviously I've I've already got quite a few pallets of seed just kicking about. But the, I was a bit unsure of the tractor and the seed, and I was like, mm, if it's paying me a hundred odd grand, it's probably a bigish field. And do I really want a, a very small, tiny tractor and tiny cedar? Hmm. We'll have a thing. <laughs> Certainly sewing contracts aren't bad. Like I say, I've got the seed, so it's not going to cost me any extra in terms of prodle. It's just going to be the time it takes to do those contracts. Like I say, if I could buy myself a good cedar, grow planter, so we can do everything, then hey, hey, far away. I'm also pretty sure you wouldn't cultivate a, a field that had potatoes on it previously. You would need to plough the field, get rid of the, the furrows that the um, potatoes have made. Yeah, we've got our um, we've got two bits of a kit, so there's nothing to stop me actually taking a contract that the other tractor could be doing, and then hiring an employee work for me. So like that series seven over there, that could probably be doing seeding, couldn't it? You know, that could be doing a sewing contract fairly comfortably, I would have thought. If we go and have a look at cedars. Big swing that doesn't have to be massive. I mean, the Bourgeau would be nice. I 
Get the ball, Joe. Load it up with seed. You could have him going off and doing a um a, another contract at the same time, couldn't we? Whilst I'm doing these, let's have a look then. Um, saving, saving, saving. Uh, let's have a look. Sewing, 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 sewing. Field 32 with oats. 118,000. You know what? If I borrow the equipment, but choose not to use their tractor, and instead use mine, how's that? We've got 3,303 litres of seed. Is that going to be enough for field 32, do you reckon? Oh, it's the one all the way down there, look. He'll, uh... Go and check. I've actually gone out the wrong gate. Should have gone out the first entrance. Set the seed to the correct seed. We can have a rip down here. Series 7 Deutsch Farm. Well, it's not that field. That's got corn on it. Just sprayed that thing. What's this feel? This is grass, ladies and gents. Okay. This is, this is quite long grass. Get in there with your wee whacker. Try and take care of that. I'm looking for a get entrance into this field. There he goes. Right. Worker is hired. We'll let him do the seeding, ladies and gents. Meanwhile, me rocking my amazing cultivator of power. And crack on with these two cultivating contracts. I 
I mean, that one sewing contract basically pays for one of these tractors, ladies and gentlemen. Because the second hand price, and I think the Series 7 was 180, was about 115 grand. Um, the Series 8 was more expensive, but it's also got fewer hours on it. Um, hence why when, when I check on the Series 7, the Series 7's in, in, in need of actual repair because it's got 30 hours on it whereas this one's only got six <laughs> so um, the Series 7 done five times as much work already in its short lifetime so it was a lot cheaper than this one but if that sewing contract pays for it happy days these two cultivating contracts will pay for the cultivator um, so I'm not terribly, terribly out of pocket. You know, I've put my money to good use. And then, as I say, we just need to invest ourselves in a good, decent cedar then. Of our own, for use, do so in contract. off this thing hopefully it's happy with the fact that I'm using this equipment I'm using a, this harrow to do the cultivating it doesn't actually just want me to do cultivating I haven't actually checked I assume this is working perfectly fine. Yes. Good. 99% <laughs> complete. Strange. Strangely, I have had instances in the past where I've done, like in FS19, pl a plowing contract on a field and I've used a subsoiler because it removes the plowed status I've gone up and down the whole field got to the end 0% complete because it doesn't actually recognize the subsoiler as being a plow even though the subsoiler removes the need for plowing on a field it's not technically classed as a plow by the contract system therefore I've had to go get a plow and go over the field again to complete the contract wasted all my time i'm not sure if that's still the case in fs22 i've not actually tried it and i know it sounds crazy but i honestly don't feel the need to try and do contract with the wrong equipment just to try and prove <laughs> that you can't do the contract with the wrong equipment i would much rather just use the right equipment to start with and go from there Job's getting done quite nicely. I think this contract's finished anyway now. I know I didn't um I didn't get the message or I didn't see the message, but I know it's up there. And then I've got to go and do field 42. So you can see the money's counting down because I am paying the worker.
I'm paying the wages for the guy doing the uh, automating. We're off to field 42 in our lovely Deutsch Bar tractor. That little buddy seat, look. Seems like he sat awfully close to the steering wheel and would get in the way if you had somebody stuck there. Might make turning left a bit challenging. Or turning right, every time you turn right you elbow him in the side of the face. this field we are cultivating just check that field 42 yes it is don't have access to this land, load of cobblers. What a load of cobblers. Of course I have access to this land. Do you not know who I am? I'm Dolores Flufflebotham. Flufflebotham Farming Services. And I'm here to cultivate this field. And get paid a vast amount of money for doing so. Let's go over and have a look at the other fella. See how the other fella's getting on for a bit, shall we? On the seeding. Okay, he's uh He's gonna make me do the headlands, definitely. Because he's not bothered doing any. Yeah. We've got two warriors. This is the, the series 7, the 7250 TTV HD. And then I've got the the, the series 8. So two warriors. Deck and hand. Jobs are good. Un. What else have we got second hand that I might be interested in? 40 foot header. For a combine. Like I say, that sprayer is tempting me. But it's only 3,600 litre capacity. Hmm. Two of those. And a truck. Probably not going to need a truck. But yeah, that sprayer. I mean, we could get it in 24 meters. It's going to cost me 20 grand to buy it with the extension. The extra capacity. What? I mean, I haven't really looked, like I say, I haven't really looked too much at sprayers. That's 3,000 litres. 6,800 litres. If I was going to buy one, I'd go for that one. 6,800. Yeah, 24 meters. I always get the little front tank if I want the little front tank, which has an additional 3,000 liters in it.
which is a pallet and a hall. Yeah, if I was going to get a sprayer, I'd probably go for one of those in the time at the moment. If I was going to be doing more fertilising contracts and stuff. So yeah, the, the, once this guy's finished seeding, obviously I need to come down here and um, do a headland one because he won't have finished the whole field. He's pulling up quite a bit short on some of the rows. Formic X8627. Don't know much about that tractor. Is it a classed as a medium tractor? The McCormick? One of those? Or is there a bigger one? X8. X8627. It's that one, isn't it? BT Drive. So, yeah, it's only 264 horsepower. So, yeah, my Series 7's better. My Deutsch Fahrer is better than that. Because I've got one of those. So mine's like 295 horsepower. And then I've got one of those, which is like 325. The EV version would be nice though, because I could look 355. I don't think McCormick have any large tractors, do they? That I know of. There's a Series 9 Deutsch Fall. Oh, maybe we could add that to our collection. Get the Warrior. With narrow tyres. That'd be amazing. My tyres and weights. Four hundred and eighty is the highest horsepower it would go to. GPS, that's gonna cost me two hundred and seventy three grand. Yeah. We could we could run a Deutsch farm farm eventually. I'm not sure if they've got any decent tractors or not. But yeah, cultivating is going well over here on the field. Fairly big field. And he's got 33% seed left. And he's done how much of this field thus far? 20%. Mm. Well, that. And lots of bailing contracts, 73 grand for a bit of a uh, teddy. That one, that's probably not bad. Field 18. Gives us quite a bit of kit. Gives us a good mower. There's no harvesting contracts at the minute, you all know it. Only bailing. What's going on on the on 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 the grand map stage that means we're not actually getting any harvesting at the minute? Has everything been harvested? Or is everything currently in the growing? Well, there's a few fields. But they're all grass. Yeah, they're all grass fields, ladies and gents. Um, so, yeah, there's no actual crops growing at the minute, which is why there's no harvesting contract. Um, but as soon as it does come up to some harvesting contracts, we'll definitely jump in and get some of them done. Because we've got two tractors that can pull big trailers. And will make life a lot better for me. I could even get some straw, if, if their crops are dropped straw, I could even do straw collecting. And I could sell the straw for a bit of extra money on the side. 
that would be quite beneficial too, wouldn't it? Thing. I mean, it's cooking something. It smells. Strange. Just, just noticed. Just got a whiff. Not dinner time yet, is it? No, it's only quarter past ten past four. About an hour and fifty minutes early for dinner. It's cracking on with the um, seeding. We'll have to go and get some more seed then for that. That's the only thing. Oh, this fella's struggling. Rear physics start to come into play. And the guy starts to struggle a little bit. Good thing is I went for big wide tyres with wheel weight, so he's got plenty of grit. He's got plenty of traction. But I would imagine if he's only 325 horsepower, he's going to start to struggle on the hills with this. As I say, this, this cultivator really wants 360 horsepower. The tractor's really not powerful enough. I mean, on the flat, doesn't look to be too much of a problem for it. But definitely there as it was going uphill, it was struggling. It was struggling. Quite a big bit of space to go through. Twenty two per cent seed left. Mm. Yeah, I can see me maybe needing to go and get some more seed. Eighteen forty-two. Quite a bit of the field to do. Seeding of this field. Hell of a lot of this field still to do. 
Right, I guess I'm going to carry on with these two contracts then, ladies and gents. And uh, I will bring you all back for the next episode in the not-too-distant future when these contracts will be completed and we'll probably be ready to move on to another type of task. It'll probably be October when I bring you back, ladies and gents. And hopefully then we'll have some more contract types available to us, either some harvesting or... If not, we'll end up doing a couple of the baling contracts, possibly. Um, doing some teddying this time, as opposed to the silage bales that we did previously. So, thank you for watching today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I'll catch you all in another video very soon. But for now, take care of yourself. Stay safe and goodbye. Cheerio.